it seems to be going... I mean, there was talk of babies in the last episode. There was talk of babies. Yeah, it's been lovely, cos I think there's been that trajectory of... It was a little yeah. bit inconvenient for mm. Tina to fall in yeah. love. She didn't yeah. want to. She didn't want to. She was busy tiling her bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, and so she's trying to figure out what that means for her and him and Matthew, obviously, Calix Bellman's character. So they're yeah. trying to figure out how they become a family, if you like, and I think she's finding it a little bit trickier. Yeah. Well, also there's the uh, there's the issue with the workmate as well, isn't it? Is it Sarah? Isn't it? Is it, it Sarah? Is, yeah. yeah, Sarah at work. Woman. So um, we have now found out that it was Sarah's husband that you were having the um, affair with. He was being unfaithful yeah. with you whilst you were uh, opposite Adam. Um, and she looked to me like she's beginning to set mm. something up. Oh, I no. think. I think this is only my. Come on, tell me. Um, my consideration is that she, for revenge, is going to attempt to get him to be unfaithful with her. Is he right? He's always right. He's got it, hasn't he? There may well be a fox in the chicken coop. That's all I shall say. OK. That's all I shall say. I it's, um... think that might have been a yes. <laughs> I think you I'm not very good that. at that, am I? No, I think it's <laughs> that thing of um, the past does come back to haunt her in some way. Right. It might not be as, Clear as simple that. Yeah. as that, but... Um, but ultimately, I mean, they're going to have a bit of this, cos it's cold feet, so it's going to be a bit of up and down. There is going to be a bit of up and down. Up and down. So yeah. I could deal with that if ultimately this is going to go well and they're going to get married. Are they going to get married? <laughs> oh, Are they well, going to be wedding bells anywhere? I mean, possibly anywhere in the series? There may be a wedding. It may or may not be mine. Who knows? OK. I don't know. No, it's that I'll thing. Take that. Yeah, I think it's that... Um, you know, you can tell they both really want to make it work, but there is, um, they've got some obstacles. Yes. Your family were thrilled that you got the part, weren't they? They really were, yeah. Is that because you'd all been fans initially in, in the 2000s? They'd loved it, and it was one of those jobs. I mean, they're so supportive of everything. You know, I was laughing last time, they turn up to everything en masse, you know, there's yeah. a minivan outside the <laughs> stage door if I'm in a play. But this, actually, some of the stuff I'd done about new dramas or... And this was something that they loved. Yeah. And so I can remember kind of saying, I've got the job, and they just were like, oh, my over God. Over the moon. Yeah. And it must have been slightly intimidated going in on that first day and sort of doing a script read with all of those characters, you know, so, well, talking around the table around you. Yeah. I mean, I'm always really nervous. First day of school, I'm terrible. So I always drink two cups of coffee too many. And I right. have a palpitation in the <laughs> toilet before I have to go in and go, hi, how are you doing? Nice to meet you. But um, seeing the five of them yeah. around the table and Mike and that, like, crackle in the air, because for them it was such a big deal to come mm. back. You know, Janet Horsfield, who designed the hair and makeup, was there in the first two. You okay. know, it was just, like, this big deal. But they're all so lovely, aren't so they? Lovely. I mean, James must be, must be fabulous to, to yeah. work with. Yeah, they're all... I know, I keep saying it, I sound like Miss Congeniality. Like, it's so saccharine, but they are fabulous. Mm. Yeah. They're all fabulous people. 